Hello and welcome to the Proyaki Report, Volume 1, Episode 36, Starters vs. Relievers, Part 3. Back in May, Japan Baseball Weekly podcast host John E. Gibson suggested that the base stars needed a new uh, gaijin pitcher for relief in order to help the bullpen get to uh, Sosha, who had just taken over the job from Yamamoto as closer. I, on the other hand, contended that the relief corps was doing much better than starters, and then if they needed anything, it was another starter. So, in order to prove my point, I went through the numbers and compared how Yokohama's starters did against how the relievers did. There was then a follow-up a couple weeks later, in which Azasan has suggested checking out how sluggers did against both uh, starters and relievers. Hey, that was a very good and interesting post, and we could really see who it was who attacked starters more and who attacked relievers more. If memory serves me correctly, it seems to me that Blanco really hit relievers a lot better than starters. So... Now that we're about 80% through the season, Gibson's son has once again suggested that I bring this topic up. But this time, instead of just focusing on Yokohama, look at the league as a whole. So, that's what I did. First, let's take a look at the team summaries. Note, the ERAs listed are an accumulation of individual players' earned runs allowed against innings pitched. These will not match team totals in a newspaper, as team ERA is calculated in some mysterious method which I have not yet deciphered. Hanshin and Yomiuri have the top two pitching staffs, and they are the only two Central League teams that are above 500. The Giants, with 510 runs scored compared to Hanshin's 419, is why the Giants are nine games up as of the end of play on Friday, August 30th. Oryx is a bit of a surprise, leading the Pacific League in ERA while being nine games under 500 and in last place. It's as though they are trying to defy the old adage that good pitching beats good hitting. Their 390 runs scored so far this season is the least in both leagues. Yokohama and Yakult being at the bottom should be of no surprise to anyone. But I think we really want to look at individuals. The first thing that needs to be done is some housekeeping. Pitchers who have appeared in less than 20 games act kind of like interference here, so let's filter them out. That's better and colorful. I've gone through and color-coded players based on stats that define their roles. Pitchers with 10 or more wins are in yellow and are starters. Six or more saves are in blue. These would be closers. 15 or more holds are in green. These, of course, would be middle relievers. And eight or more losses are in red. Once again, we mainly have starters here. There are some instances of pitchers who have had both starting and relieving roles, but, you know, you'll mainly see them as one role or the other. At a glance, we can see that relief roles dominate with the best ERAs. Relief pitchers throw many fewer innings than starters, but that makes every earned run allowed more costly. The top starter is the amazing Masahiro Tanaka with Dakten. With a 19-0 record, he's won his last 23 decisions in a row, dating back over a year. It's hard to say anything about ma -kun. That hasn't already been said. Oryx's Chihiro Kaneko is the only other starter who qualifies for a pitching title with an ERA under 2. Kaneko leads the superb Oryx pitching staff. Clint Hulsey, who writes scouting reports about Japanese, Korean, and some MLB players on the IRFast blogspot site, recently posted a report on Kaneko. 
I have him in my baseball circle on Google Plus, and just you know to make sure that I'm notified when he puts something new up. And he usually also cross posts to the Pro Yaku community, where I am sure to see him as I check that daily. Nonetheless, without much run support, Kaneko has 10 wins and 8 losses, thus qualifying for two colors on my chart. The difference between 19 and 0 and 10 and 8 is apparently 494 runs scored for Doc 10 compared to 390 runs scored by Oryx. That's over 100 fewer runs scored. The next best starter is Kinta Maeda, the top pitcher in the Central League. Mayakin has been pretty solid all season, with the opposition hitting just 197 against him. We can scroll through this data, and in doing so, see that the big winners for starters are all clumped pretty much in the upper middle section of the data set. Then we've got some disgraced closers, and big losers in the top half of the second half of this data set. I am making the raw data set available on Google Drive. Links will be in the show notes on Google Plus or JapaneseBaseball.com. I'm at a loss as to why Burnett is at the bottom of this list. He's been pretty good when I've seen him. Well, except for maybe last night against Yokohama when he walked a few. You know, he had some control issues. But in general, he strikes out twice as many as he walks. And he's given up less home runs than most other really excellent closers. So, hey, Swallows fans, please feel free to leave a comment explaining why his ERA is so high. And now it's time for the Pocket Calendar. Coming up tomorrow, September 2nd, will be this week's episode of the Japan Baseball Weekly Podcast. The uh, interview of the week is going to be with Vinny Rotino of the Oryx Buffaloes, after which John and Jim plan on discussing Coco Ballantine's uh, pursuit of the single-season home run record. He's got a lot of games to go, and he's still hitting the ball. Um... Also, the continuing story of Ma Kun going undefeated, and more. Questions and comments are also to be addressed. And to wrap up, let's listen to an interview by my daughter's new favorite player. Until next week, take care. Mario des. ホーソスギ、そしてジングキュージョにお集まりのベイスターズファンの皆さん、お待たせしました。ヒーローインタビューです。今日はもちろんこの人モーガン選手です。ナイスバッティングでした。ありがとうございました。おい。おい。味方が